Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with another box. I have my, sorry I've got Luke smoothie all over my face. <laughs> I have my Nine of Earth for April 2022. So this is actually my first um, subscription box from them. So I had entered a contest and I had won one of their past boxes and I was really impressed with the box. So I was like, I'm going to subscribe and I went to go subscribe for that next month and I realized that the deck in the box I had just purchased. So I was like, dang it. So, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I gotta wait for next month to see what the next deck is. And actually, I had just ordered the deck that's in this box on Amazon, but it hadn't shipped yet because it was like a pre-order, I think. I think it was like a week before, like pre-order, like it was going to ship in like a week. And I was like, oh crap. And I canceled that. And then I subscribed to the box. So super excited. So, hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Lisa and on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, including subscription unboxings. So if that sounds like something you might like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, let's get to it. So I think they have a different like box each time. I don't think it always looks like this, but this is our box. It's got like some, some sort of birds around the thing in the doohickey. So anyways, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is so funny. The, if you guys watched my last video, um, it was about earth spirits. And this one says earth energy. It's so funny. Actually, I swear that the box that I opened the other day was about earth energy. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how synchronicities happen? Do we need to start working with earth energy right now? We must. Okay. So, first I have this uh, folded over paper that says earth energy and on the back it talks about our stuff. Let's see. Okay. I'm not going to look at that because it's going to give it away. So first things first, I'm a realist. I don't know the rest of the song. Okay. We've got some wild wood incense. Looks like it's by Soul Sticks. I don't know that I've ever gotten incense by them. Oh. Okay. Comes a little do, do, do my flat chip. Okay. My boyfriend is like really wanting, I don't know why I'm showing you the incense sticks. Um, you can't really see, but it says hand rolled masala incense sticks. I wonder what that means. Masala. Wonder if it has to do with like the binding agent to keep the stuff on there. Anyways, my boyfriend is like super obsessed and he really wants us to make incense. And I was like, well, that'd be kind of cool. I currently sell Wildberry brand incense in my um, Etsy shop. If you guys are not familiar with my Etsy shop, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy down below, it says my witchy shop. All right. So let's read about our incense. Wildwood Incense Sticks by Soul Sticks. It is a $4.99 value. 100% natural incense sticks that are hand rolled with a blend of fresh Himalayan herbs, spices, and flowers. There it is. It, it smells really good. All right, we have some crinkle paper. That one of you lucky people, if you buy anything from my shop, <laughs> you may receive that crinkle paper. I have, um, I've actually created a Cousin It over here, I have a pile of crinkle paper that is becoming very tall. <laughs> and the black just gave him some hair. So, yeah, it looks like Cousin It on the floor. All right. <laughs> First, we have all oh, this cute little bee with a little moon, crescent moon. Can you see that? Hopefully it focuses. Necklace. The Emperor. No, no. Where'd it go? Bee Prosperity Necklace. It is a $19.99 value. I'm trying to open it because I want to wear it. I don't have a lot of gold jewelry. So this, whoops, this will be nice. My, okay, there we go. The thing was just a little bit kinked. Which way does it go? Like that. 
Okay, talk amongst yourselves while I put this necklace on. <laughs> mm. It's gonna take a minute. Okay. Oh! Look how cute it is! Oh, I love it! Okay. Alright, so it says... Be Prosperity Necklace. Good luck, abundance, dedication, renewal. These unassuming little creatures are vital for our ecosystem. I just had some honey last night. I put it, <laughs> I wasn't drinking tea, I was drinking apple cider, but I was like, I'm gonna put some honey in there because, you know, that can help you when you're sick. Okay, I digress. These hardworking honeybees uh, pollinate around 80% of the food we eat, cotton for our clothes, and much more. Throughout history, Bees have been symboliz symbolism for many things, including prosperity, life, community, joy, success, determination, etc. This necklace features a bee underneath a crescent moon, symbolizing release, empowerment, and your ability to manifest with hard work and determination. 18 karat gold plated chain, 16 karat gold plated pendant, cubit zirconia stone. Oh, there is a little stone. You probably can't see it, but it's like right by the crescent moon. Neat! Oh, okay. And then we have Sew the Magic, the Empress Bee. What is this? Is Are these seeds? Oh! So it's this little pouchy guy. Okay, hold on. Let's read about it. The Empress Bee Tarot Seed Packet by Sew the Magic. $7 value. The Empress Tarot card signifies nurturing and the creation of life. You can expect this species of flower to facilitate bees and insects bringing life and fertility to your garden. Ooh, I'm not going to even be able to pronounce that. Uh, Facilia Tanacetifolia Annual. <laughs> this annual flower bears subtle purple-blue flowers ah, with curved spikes that put on a show in your garden while attracting and supporting supports and supporting several types of bees. This plant is commonly called Bienen Freud, German for bee's friend. I said Freud, fr frund, fr friend, whatever. Envelopes contain 15 seeds. All of our seeds are sustainably sourced by reputable seed stewards in the U.S. We only offer seeds that are open pollinated and or heirloom varieties. All seeds are non-GMO and organic. Oh, how cool! Can I do this in the house? Hmm. I'm going to have to ask my dad. My dad is my my go-to <laughs> for asking about garden stuff because like, I don't know. All right, then we have some Meadow Maiden uh, Ritual Altar Candles. Oh, they have like little flowers or something. Why is there, is that the wick? Okay, sorry, there's that. It almost looks like the wick is on these little doodads. Look, right? Cause there's no wick right up there unless these are really big crayons but it says candle okay meadow maiden ritual altar candles by lit rituals they're a 12 dollars value these stunning pastel green candles are scented with essential oils to promote the smell of being outside on a rainy spring day yes which yesterday was a rainy spring day here <laughs> uh sweet grass and a hint of eucalyptus will make you feel like you have been transported to a nearby meadow. Topped with a fennel flower, these candles will assist you in honoring the land, forest, trees, meadows, and Mother Earth herself. Please remove adornments before burning. Where the fuck do you burn it from? Huh. I guess that's not the wick. I'm very confused. Maybe it says it on the little thing in my bobber. Well, I'll figure this out because um, it's going to take me a while to open this. Maybe it's not. Okay. Remove flowers from candle. 
to prevent fire. Yes. Trim wick to one four. Okay, I don't have no wick, y'all. Huh. I don't know. My, mine don't have wicks. Can y'all send me some wicks? <laughs> me? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to light the top of these things and see what happens. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure something will happen, right? Okay. All right. So we've got two more things. Wait. Three more things before we um, get into our, uh, our deck. Yay. All right. So we've got some uh, two... Two crystals, sorry. And it looks like green adventuring. And then it looks like uh, moss or tree agate. This may be tree agate. Let me see. Yes. Okay, so uh, adventuring, we've got a $4 value, 3 to $4 value. Nickname the Stone of Opportunity. This earth element stone is said to aid in prosperity, success, luck, attracting money, love, and friendship. Then our tree agate tumbled. It's a three to four dollar value. Nicknamed the stone of plentitude. This stone is said to bring feelings of abundance and luck to your financial endeavors. Folklore claims it encourages a deep connection to the earth, its natural cycles and energies. Known for use as a personal talisman to enhance your strength, stamina, and power. Very nice. I shall put those in my database. Um, I've been using an app to take photos of it. Again, people have said, oh, it's really inaccurate to identify the, um, the, um, the crystal by just taking a picture, but some of it, 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 it does, it does tell me the right thing, but I am more interested in like, um, cataloging all of my crystals. So I'm taking a picture and then you could put in like the measurements, where you got it, how much it cost. And then you have like a whole catalog of your crystals. So I love that. So, all right. Print is dead. Pocket mirror. Oh, it's a pocket mirror. Look, it's so pretty. Okay, let's open that. Shit, mine just fell right the fuck out. <laughs> all right. So, yes, there's a mirror. You could also use this for scrying. And then it's got the beautiful pentacle. Ooh, girl. Okay. <laughs> pocket mirror by Print is Dead. It's a $9 value. A beautiful pocket mirror of a floral pentacle or pentagram, symbolizing the creation of nature through the elements and spirit in many Wicca and witchcraft traditions. It makes the ideal travel size mirror for your purse, handbag, or makeup mirror. Very nice. Okay. One more thing and then we're going to get to our deck. It looks as though we have some oil. Maybe this is what I'm smelling. It smells so good. It smells so good. Come here. <laughs> I'm just popping all the, uh, the bubbles. My, my, I was getting ready to say my son loves to do that. That's not right. I mean, he is my son, my dog, my puppy. I will have these somewhere, you know, and he'll grab it and start popping them. He loves it. All right. Incantation for passion and serendipity. Oh, very nice. And it looks like, is it sunstone? Or no, maybe that's carnelian. I don't know, girls and boys. What do you think? It's hard to, it's hard to tell. Let's smell it. Shit balls. Okay, let's put it on. Let's put it on. Mmm. Oh, very nice. It's got some, is it, I smell something citrusy. Incantation perfume by Mandela Gems. It is a $25 value. An aromatic aid for passion, serendipity, confidence, and attraction. Incantation is a luscious blend that have been used for generations as aphrodisiacs. Oh shit, I just put that on and my boyfriend's not even here. <laughs> Hetty Demonia mingles with the playful scent of citrus and exotic lemongrass. Lemongrass is what I was smelling. In a fusion that is both seductive and joyful. To experience incantation's sultry benefits, simply apply to your wrist, neck, 
and decolletage. Where's my decolletage? <laughs> I, I feel like this has to be a dirty spot. <laughs> whenever you could use some extra passion and confidence in your day. Demania essential oil is very difficult to distill, driving the cost to over a dollar a drop. Girl. The, the essential oil, which is steam distilled from leaves, flowers, and stems of the Demania plant, has a sweet, fruity, and floral aroma with earthy undertones. Ingredients are Demania essential oil, uh, organic citrus, Cyan cyanesis essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, and carnelian crystals. Okay, and then calendula and fractionated coconut oil. Um, carnelian, yes. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, last but not least, our deck. And again, I had already had this ordered. I had to cancel my order. And it is Seasons of the Witch, the Beltane Oracle. Yay! So I have the, um, oh, I got some oil on my altar here. Let me just put it on myself. Okay. Um, I had the, I have the Sawin edition. I did not get the Yule, um, but maybe I'll get it at some point. But yay for the Beltane one. All right, if we can get this open, we're going to do a, a, uh, card by card walk through. Okay, so this is the front of the box. We have the back. Season of the Witch Orco. Shit, if I can get it open. Ooh, this box wants to stay on. Like, is there anything preventing this box from opening? <laughs> Five hours later. Okay, so inside the box we just have a full moon. There is a lovely uh, book, guidebook. It is full color. Lovely. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, the deck, y'all. Hold on, me. Is gold gilded. Stop it. Yay! Okay. Oh, look at the backs of the cards. Very nice. Uh, good quality card stock. I mean, it's it's actually kind of, it's not super thick, like it's bendy, but it's still good quality. Um, it's a mass production deck. Um, it's, it's on the better end of a mass production deck. Did I, I showed you the back, didn't I? Wow, okay. All right, so let's start. Hold on, let me turn that back over. It appears that there are 44 cards in the deck. So we have B, some things, Bonfire. And remember, this is Beltane. Boundaries, Chant. Cow. Oh, I love this one. Creation. Earth worship. Embodiment. Oops. Fay. Fertilizing. Ooh. Fire festival. I love it. Flower crown, goat. Oh, she's so pretty, goddess. Green man, he's all like laid back, looking sexy. Hey, green man. <laughs> Growth. Oh, I love it. Hand fasting. This may be the only type of ceremony that I get my boyfriend to do with me. He doesn't want to get married. He thinks it'll change things. But he said he would do a ceremony with me. <laughs> Ooh, honey. Indulgence. 
inner power. Oh, love spell. Oh my god, these cards are gorgeous, guys. And this is the card that's on the front of the deck, Maiden. She is beautiful. Manifestation. <gasps> Maple. I've been trying to decide if I want to buy an already created maypole or if I want to create one this year. Um, I, it's like, do I try to make one and then not like the way it turns out or should I just buy one from somebody who is awesome and already made one? So if you guys have, um, if you guys have ever bought like a, like a, just like an altar size maypole um, and you have a great source, let me know in the comments below because I'm in the market for a maypole. Okay. <laughs> All right. Milk and butter. I did find one that I, I liked. I'm still searching, but we shall see. Morning dew. I need to change my, I've got my Ostara back here. I need to change to Beltane. Oak. Oracle. Oh, orgasm. <laughs> All right, Pegasus. Oh, I'm excited about the next one. Phoenix. I love Phoenixes. Like, I love their, like, representation, their symbolism. Ooh, look at this one, Primal. Ribbons. Rowan, Sacred Waters, Sacrifice, Self Worship. Oh, she's so pretty. Sex Magic. Um, Beltane is like. All about the sex. Okay, <laughs> stone circle. I'm gonna have to let my boyfriend know that. <laughs> Sun god. Oh, surrender. Oh, I love these cards. The lovers. Vision. Last but not least, wildcat. <gasps> Oh, okay. What is our message today? What do we as a collective need to know? All right, chant. It's number four. It says, hear me loud, hear me roar, for I am here in my truth. Very nice. Okay, let's see what it says in the guidebook. It's a beautiful guidebook. Okay, speaking your truth. And then it gives that quote, hear me loud, hear me roar, for I am here in my truth. Communication isn't just about listening. It's true that you must be willing to hear different sides of a story and give others their space to be heard. But you also need your time to share what is within your soul. You have pulled chant because your voice needs to be heard. There is a strength and authority in you that is ready to take charge of your situation. Not only that, but you may find others have been looking to you for guidance and your willingness to share your truth gives others permission to share theirs as well. It's like hearing a sudden voice in a room of silence, singing the beginning of a moving song. Then one by one, others join in until the room is full of the melodic thunder. You have more influence than you probably realize. And it's time for you to step up by allowing others to see that you will be silenced no more. What a wonderful message. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. What a great box. What do you guys think? Obviously, I love this deck. The um, incantation little perfume is wonderful. I am so excited. <laughs> I would love to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite item in this box? Do you have this deck? Are you gonna get this deck? Um, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.